Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to RainyDayGuitar.com, the place where you can go and print off the music. Um, today we're going to learn Last Christmas, super easy song, beginning level, four chords, it goes over and over again. The version that I'm going to teach you is the Cascada, Cas Cascada, I don't know how she says it, but anyway, that version, she plays it on the 8th fret, and it's pretty simple. So we're just going to kind of start, you're going to go, I'm going to show you the basic four chords, and then I'm going to show you a couple ways to jazz it up and make it a little more fun. So you're just going to go... that will work there's two strums that will work down down up down down up down down up down down up or down down up up down up down down up up down up I have a hard time sticking to either one of those because I kind of make my guitar get Whatever I'm singing, my hand goes up and down with the rhythm of what's coming out of my mouth, so I have a hard time. But if you can't do that, and you need a basic strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, or down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, those will both work, okay? I'm going to kind of mix those up and throw in some others just because it's really hard for me to stick to one pattern, but those will work for you. Okay, so basically you've got a G. And, the, and she's on, okay, Cascada's got the, the capo on the 8th fret, okay? Uh, Glee has it on the 10th, Wham has it on the 7th, everybody's got it on a different place. You can figure out where you want to play it, but, and also where it works for your voice. If you play it up higher, there's some cool things you can do, so I'm going to gonna show you those in a minute. But first we're going to go through the basics. So we've got G, E minor, then an A minor, and then a D. That's it. That's the same four chords over and over again. So let's kind of go through it once. show you some fun things you can do with that okay so you're on the G if you can reach I can't do this down low so I actually like to have the capo pipe because then I can reach ah. okay it's still tough for me well, I probably should be trying to switch so all I did was I last Christmas gave me my heart I can't I can't reach up that high so I just kind of go go between these two. So if you're on the G, instead of what would be the third fret, whatever fret you're on, we're going to call this the third fret here, you're going to put your pinky up on the fifth, and then slide it back down. Then go to an E minor, and you're going to take your ring finger or your pinky. My, my pinky kind of needs a break at this point because that's kind of painful. Um, I'm going to put my ring finger on the first string, second fret. The fret, third fret, second, and then off. Let's see. And the, the very next day and then I lifted. You can't get away. Get away. So I kind of go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that kind of goes. And the very next day. So I went down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let me try that again. those two together. Let me, I didn't tell you this strumming what I'm doing on the G. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, so I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That works pretty well. Then you go to the E minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then this one, you, you want to go this, this year, but you can't reach those. At least I can't reach it with my fingers. So I kind of put, I do a compromise, I do the harmony of this year, which would be an A minor, put your pinky on the second string, third fret. And I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let me say that without. So the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 
up, down, up. I'll play it softer so you can hear my voice. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then the D is my favorite part, that's the easiest part. distinctive strum there I go so I'm with my pinky I'm going him on I'm putting him on the first string third fret here's what I'm strumming down up down up no down up down up 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 down up down up down up let me do that again down up down up 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 down up Red, I got four ups in a row. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, which is tricky to do if you're kind of a novice strummer, but practice it and you can get good at it. It gives you kind of a unique little melody there. was on the wrong string. And then I probably wouldn't do that strum, those little fun little diddlies and all that kind of stuff, except on the chorus. I'd probably just go. And I don't actually know the melody very well. Every time I try to sing this, I don't know, my voice goes off into its own little world and it's not right. So I'm not gonna, really going to sing this very well. Try to do the rhythm. Tell me, baby. Up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. I'm gonna stick with that strum most of the song. It's hard to sing and play that because the voice goes all over the place. Um, but let's go ahead and put it on with it. That is the whole song, okay? Then it just kind of fades out. So we're going to put it on with Cascada, Cascada. I don't know how she says her name. Anyway, and we're going to play it with her. And you will see that it's super easy, super same four chords over and over again. So let's see if we can pull that up. Hold on a second. Pulling up my internet. Just one second. And here we go.
was that when they ended it too. So I probably just end on a one strum with a G. All right, um, there we go. Uh, I heard this was a big song in Russia, so hopefully anybody out there in Russia that wants to play the guitar will have fun with those chords. Okay, if you want to get the chords and the words, go to rainydayguitar.com where you can print off all the words with the chords above it. Very helpful when you're trying to learn to play a song. All right, super easy, beginning level song for those of you that are just learning but like that song. All right, Merry Christmas.